I look like I'm in pain. Good late morning, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Several things to go over here. Um, as you can see, the child's car is back from being inspected, but something kind of funny unfolded there. Before I launch into that, I'm going to show you these floral arrangements that Mother and I made last night. I went over to get help from her because I stank at doing anything floral, even fake ones, and they are. And um, she used to do all that jazz, so she has whipped out all this equipment wildly from downstairs. Oh, do you want to use this one? Maybe we should cut this one off and put this one in. Uh, it needs to be below the other one, and on and on and on. I think it turned out pretty well here. Those are the arrangements, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little sprucing up. Those are the kind of flowers that I can keep pretty well, although my petunias are doing really well. Since I took the advice of Kathleen and looked at a video of a guy who's an expert on petunias, cut them all back and redid them. Perhaps I can show you. Okay. I don't know how this is going to go. Can you see them? I don't know if they're going to be in there or not. I have to do the little pinch jazz today, and there's a certain technique to that. That's why they're doing well. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's, let me just get on with the uh, subject here. The vehicle's back, and there's my flag. You know, it's a little bit glary today. So I stopped over at my friend, to my friend Glenn Mylosh's house. He was first cousins with Rod, the man who died uh, last week, or we found out about it last week. That's all a very tragic, hideous story. He was just 64. I mentioned it in another video. So I stopped over to Glenn's to visit, give him a hug. I haven't really done that. And, um, Blah, blah, blah. We had a lovely visit, and I was leaving. This was after I picked up the vehicle. <laughs> the vehicle from Connieville, 12 miles north. I'm getting in the car, and I can't help but notice that the sticker says 7 of 19. The whole idea was to get this inspected, so <laughs> Jeff, the mechanic, told me that they were super busy, and last minute things came in, and everybody's freaking out wanting inspection, and my paperwork literally says, sticker issued but it's not on the car, so I think it's kind of funny. I mean, it's a little bit of an inconvenience, but in the bigger scheme of things, it's not the end of the world. So I did leave a message with him, and I will have to drive north and take care of that uh, as soon as possible. I think I'm just going to take Edna to one of the funeral viewings today. Well, the only one that is today for the township supervisor named Roy Whaley. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do it. I don't want to deal with getting pulled over and have to produce my paperwork and all that jazz so okay there's that and there was uh there were other things hang on i have to gather my thoughts i guess they're gathered as much as they're going to be ladies and gentlemen today uh i'm doing that i'm going to work on some stuff like painting little clothespins and whatnot and you know get things organized in the house it seems like every day i'm getting stuff organized the other day i was so proud because i got all the dishes done and you know it's like large bowls and things like that from canning where you have to cut the beans and put them in here and do that Anybody who cans understands what I mean. And so um, I was all delighted walking through the kitchen saying to the cats, look, all the dishes are done. And guess what? I forgot that I threw some in the oven the night before. I do that sometimes. Yeah. I just whipped them in the oven so that I'd have room to maneuver in the kitchen. Okay, so there's that. Tomorrow, Mother and I are going to be heading to a place uh, just outside of Meadville for a special video for y'all. A woman named Marge Wenzel, she owns a tack shop for horses, like horse tack, you know what I'm saying? How can you not know what I'm saying? She's 95, she's been in business for, you guessed it, a thousand years. I figured, I did some math, don't faint, and I figured that Marge, I met her when I was 15. She would have been my age, 55, and I still know her, of course, and all that. She runs the shop outside of her house. She has a 99-year-old sister who uh, has recently had to go to a home, I guess. And uh, she still is plodding along up there with the tax shop. Unfortunately, there are some weird people that go in, and they'll get an idea of what kind of saddle they might want. And then they tell her, it's not just saddles, it's all kinds of equipment, you know. Her, her, horse wormer, worm, getting rid of worms. I talk funny. Uh, halters, you know, anything horse-related. They will go in, size up a saddle, and literally tell her, we're going to order online now that we know what size to get. Isn't that rude? I can't freaking believe it. She advertises in the paper a few times a year. I don't bother her a whole lot, but she does one of the Crawford County Fair issues every year. 
and she gets a discount just because she's 95. Now, because I know she, you know, I try to work with people if they don't have a lot of money. You know, we can work with them, ladies and gentlemen. So, that's tomorrow's uh, lounging field trip. I thought I would let you know about it and get you prepped for it. Of course, it will not be live. And uh, Mother is going to go, too. And that'll be going to go, too. I'm always saying gonna. That's it. I think that's all I have to report, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, of course, we have the man of the house. I live for him. I love that he's here. I adore him. I cannot get enough of him. Okay, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging with this piece of hair out of place. While coming at you with thoughts of the day, join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. Bye.